So I used to be friendly. Hello. I'm here to see your temple. Hello and welcome again to Forgotten Temples with myself, Mr. B. In the background, we have an early 13th century temple by the name of Priya Fatu or Patu. And I'm going to pick up the tripod and just show what's behind you. And there's a reason. Have a look. Now, behind these trees and shrubbery is in fact a road so you may hear a bit of traffic but cars zip by on a daily basis and motorcycles and absolutely there goes one there absolutely nobody seems to realize that this is here so he does make forgotten temples category i suppose because although he's nestled right up with his very famous brothers like anchor tom and anchor Watt, he's all forgotten the lonely chap well, not today, because you and I are going to have a quick jog around, and I assure you, this one is going to be quick. So there you go. The road is just behind there, which everyone zooms up and down. And our latest chum, our most newest friend in the whole wide world, is just here. And he doesn't have any detailing. He just doesn't really talk. He sits here all alone, just slumbering, peacefully, retired, away from it all. I've not even spotted any um, offerings. What is interesting, mind you, are these vents here. This in here was a room and they've put in these vents, obviously, to allow air to get through. And here, I believe, would have been the heart of it once there would have been a statue or a like right here but alas no more and we do have a doorway which we absolutely love on this temple and what a doorway this one is because it's really wide i would have loved to have seen the room through here but the doorway gives us a clue and maybe if i move forward a bit and put my hand here can i do that there we go. You see, hopefully, you're now getting an idea as to how wide this is. Now, what's the reason for that? Was there a particularly broad statue they brought through and placed right here? And he stood here, you see, and it was a particularly large statue, a uh, wide statue. Therefore, you need a wide door. I mean, it would make sense. But alas... The doorway is blocked but he does have a new feature and that is nature giving him a hand i suppose um so allow me to show you i found this very very sweet now do you remember those vents on the other side well we've got them here as well you see so you can get through air so this is very clever isn't it and they're exceptionally deep as well um, let me try and go in a bit so you can maybe you can see but they do go back oh i'd say two two and a half feet now then you see he did have his mighty towel once but that has gone but what has replaced it is this tree have a look at this tree here look he he's right at the peak of this temple so let me stand back a bit, see if I can get a better shot. Okay, there's quite a bit of foliage in the way. So we've got temple, temple, that's where the windows are. And then right at its head, actually buried it, because the temple's here, it ends here. So right at its head here. And then where its head is, there's this beautiful tree reaching upward to the sky. And I think it's, it's, it's really, really sweet. And from the synergy, the meeting of nature and ancient temple, we conclude our trip. There's just one last thing here, and I don't usually mention these, but because it's such a short video, people may see this. And let me try and get around. Oh God, it's out, oh, right, sorry. Um, you know everything's out to kill you in the jungle. This is no exception. The branch I've just swiped has the most enormous thorns on it. Oh, really? 
Okay, never mind. Oh no, it's now sticking in my back. Never mind. What you're looking at here is a spirit house. And this bottle of water here is an offering. So not much in the way of offerings here, but at least something for our slumbering old gentleman of a temple. And the reason for these spirit houses are, and you do find them outside residence and businesses, is they are to attract the bad spirits, the ill omens that may, you know, look to reside in your house. So by having one of these outside your property, the bad spirits come along, hello, I'm a bad spirit, and then it goes, where am I going to live? I know, I'll live in there. That way, they're not inside your house. So that's the spirit house, and you see them everywhere. So here you go. Now, it's not much of a temple, but who am I to decide which temple is worthy of noting and which isn't? And if nothing else, I feel rather sad for this chap. All these people buy literally hundreds a day, maybe thousands, who knows, and nobody visits him. So he's a very lonely soul. But he's not all alone, is he? Because he's got that mighty tree there. And the spirit of the tree in himself will go long into the future, way beyond all these people that are way too busy to take the time to see him. But you and I have seen him, haven't we? So he's like a little old man sitting in the corner just muttering to himself. And I think he's terribly sweet. So I really do like meeting these temples. I don't know why. It just... The peaceful aspect of them, it just gives me great joy. And I hope it's given you a little bit of pleasure as well. As always, please like, subscribe and comment above all. And until next time, this is Mr B saying, I wish you nothing but the very best. You take good care.